Yeah, another question. Oh, second question. Do you think Cyprus may be losing part of competition to playwright? Tried it recently and uh, pretty amazed. Uh, to be completely honest with you, yes, I think that may be happening. Uh, I also think that playwright uh, is the answer to to all the all the hurdles of Selenium. And I think if you have been doing Selenium uh, for five years or many years before, and you want to translate to some tool, you would be you would be having easier time with uh, with uh, playwright than with Cypress, because it's a it's a different approach. So uh, historically, as far as I understand, <laughs> what's been going on with the uh, test automation world, uh, you would have this web driver protocol. You would have this golden standard for all of the browsers. And what you, what you wanted to do is to create a one script to rule them all and uh, and basically talk to different uh, uh, different browser drivers to draw uh, drive the automation of uh, that browser. So basically what you would be doing with Selenium is that you would be automating the browser and uh, and basically trying to emulate the behavior of the user. So in essence, what's, uh, what's happening is that you are doing sort of a black box approach uh, to testing, which uh, some people might argue that this is the way to, to go, right? With uh, uh, you're not really, um, it doesn't really matter what's going on in the, on the inside. What matters is the user. And we should, we should make sure that, uh, that the user is, uh, yeah, that the user behavior is covered end to end, right? That's that's the goal. Uh, so Playwright, what it does, it also automates the browser. Uh, so if you if your uh, philosophical approach to testing is to do this black box uh, testing, I think translating from Selenium to Playwright uh, will be easier. So I think. Uh, Playwright is definitely um, uh, uh, taking part of the whole test automation tools comp uh, competition. I think it is doing uh, that. Uh, uh, Cypre uh, that uh, Selenium is actually taking much bigger hit uh, than Cypress, though. Um, another way of how you can look at it. Uh, let me. There's this nice page, um, npm trends, where you can sort of look at uh, at different uh, different tools. So this is this is an interesting one because if you take a look at Playwright uh, and then take a look at Cypress as well, and uh, this basically shows like the usage. So we're we're looking at downloads, right? Because we could be looking at some other stuff, uh, for example, stars. Playwright has actually surpassed uh, Cypress in uh, in stars. It has much more stars than uh, than Playwright. So that's an interesting thing that some some people like to point out. The fact is, stars are not really like the best indicator of uh, of uh, showing what's going on, uh, and and I don't think they even predict anything. Uh, but I've been for uh, in, in this business not not for that long of a time to to be able to tell I'm not an expert. But what's interesting if we take a look at the old time and how that uh, graph goes is that uh, yeah the, these tools basically um, been created like with just a one year difference. Uh, so Playwright is backed by Mac Microsoft. Cypress is backed uh, only by uh, VC fundings, as far as I know, and it's doing pretty well. Uh, so, uh, so I think, uh, I think, uh, yeah, like to be completely honest, I'm not like that afraid about uh, about Cypress, and I think they have been on a really good path last year with uh, with the updates they have have been doing, like uh, Cypress version ten. <coughs> was a great step forward. And as far as I know, it has been uh, 
like the version 10 was a couple of months, if not years in the making. Uh, it was a huge, huge change. And it unblocked so much stuff uh, that it basically, mm, it basically created this whole new wave of Cypress testing. Obviously there's component testing, which is a big thing. Uh, but also with like the uh, updates uh, that are coming into Cypress, they're being like really much more regular. Uh, like every other week we have a, we have a minor update and then sometimes we get major updates uh, once a month or, or once every two months, six weeks. I don't know. I haven't been re really taking, um, uh, tracking how, how much changes they were. But like up until version 10, those updates were like very occasional and not many big things uh, were happening. Whereas with uh, Cypress version 10, we got uh, CY origin, CY session, uh, we got complete re rewrite of uh, retriability and querying. And those have been huge. By the way, if you haven't uh, updated to, uh, to version 12, you should definitely do that because uh, the change is significant. Like uh, there have been some breaking changes, which is like not nice. And I get that, but, um, uh, but the change in stability is is impressive and it's it's uh it's really good like the the way they have changed uh, how you query and retry querying of commands is uh is great uh, and i love that they have made that change it's been um it's been a really big flaw in 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 cypress as a framework if i can boldly <laughs> stay say so and uh it's good that uh, that this has changed